Hey guys, Emily here at Threads Run Through at Gamel, and I wanted to come back to our creative studio and talk today a little bit about trim. Now last time we talked about alternating patterns, so I want you to take a look at the screen. I have a pattern set up and I do have it set in alternating. Right now it says plus row on top, so I'm going to go ahead and push this OK. Now if I look at my screen, I do have a left and right trim. Now, I like this pattern, it looks great, but I do want some more quilting along the top and bottom of my quilt. There's always 12 ways to do everything, but I'm gonna show you a really fast way to adjust this and also use trim, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my entire quilt, okay? It takes a second, it thinks, I have my orange handle selected right now and this adjusts holding my middle and it stretches just enough top and bottom. It does not distort my pattern in any way, but if you come in here now, you can see that along my top, I have quilting and not just a bunch of open space. So the problem here is that I don't really wanna quilt a couple inches over the top edge of my quilt. So I am going to use my draw trim tool, okay? Now, if you click on this little drop down menu, you have a couple of options. You can either trim inside or trim outside. I am gonna use trim in and I'm going to select my draw trim tool. Now, I like using my mouse for this. You can use the machine head, um, but you'll notice I do have crosshairs. So if I move my machine, my crosshairs are moving. I have my crosshair set along the top edge of my quilt, and I'm just going to, using my left mouse button, click along my crosshair as my guideline and select everything inside that I wanna trim away. Now you'll notice the yellow box, it is now trimmed on the top. If I am done trimming for this section, I do have to right click to exit out of trim. Now from here, I'm ready to go. A couple things that I like to remember using trim is that I want my tie-offs to be off of my quilt, okay? So this is definitely an edge-to-edge. -edge. It's not custom, but you want those tie-offs to be off your quilt. Um, another thing is when I come up here, when I'm using draw trim, I wanna always make sure that I come up here to service, technical support, controller definitions, and I wanna make sure that right here, stop at jump stitch is not selected, okay? When we're using trim, we do not wanna stop at that jump stitch because that will give us major problems. Every single time it stops, it's going to ask you to cut the bobbin and that is a pain. So from here, I'm ready to go. I have a trim on my left, right, and top. Now, another time, so this is in alternating patterns. It's if I wanna stretch my pattern a little bit, a little bit of editing there. But if I am in edge to edge and I have mismeasured, right? We do that sometimes. Um, I have one on my frame right here, I'm gonna show you. I originally thought this quilt was 72. It obviously is longer on my quilt. I have this nice four inch bottom section that needs to be quilted. And I have to quilt it because if you take a look at the quilt, I have a huge opening, but I do not wanna quilt the entire last row that I have added here. So this is an instance where I'm gonna use draw trim, but I am gonna actually use my machine. So I have a laser here and using my left and right bottom buttons on my keypad, I am just following along the bottom edge of my border, selecting points, and this of course is not very straight. And then I come over here to my computer and I'm gonna continue using my mouse. And you'll notice when you look at the screen, my mouse now is my trim, okay? So I've used my head, but now I'm gonna use my mouse and I'm gonna you know, get all of these things inside that I do not want to stitch out. Now here you see I right clicked a second time and I have now filled in this bottom border. Let me zoom in so you can see it here. My bare paw so that now this edge to edge will continue and look like a complete quilt. So that is using draw trim and we have trimmed inside. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.